with me every time. I was looking for a bit of tongue this time. I thought, <laughs> plus, little John from Celebrity Apprentice. And we're talking about uh, so so you're suspecting something is going on with your husband, and there's there's something wrong. You're asking, and did did she work for you? Is that right, this woman? Yes, yeah, she was our secretary. Yeah. Well, okay, and so you're asking her, and she's, what are you talking about? And so how did you find out? And they're still together today? I don't know. Okay, all right. Well, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, it doesn't so, matter anymore. <laughs> so this, it's no longer my business. Yeah. Uh, so this woman uh, is is saying absolutely not. Nothing's happening with your husband. I don't know why you're thinking that. And then you found out how. How did I find out? Well, uh, it was Easter time, and we were, you know, the two families spending the holidays together and whatnot. And uh, Fred just called me up after the holidays. Fred is her over. husband. Fred was time. her husband at the time. Okay. Exactly. He's my husband. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. No, no, he was he was her husband at the time, and. We didn't have a, Fred and I did not have a one-on-one -on -one relationship at all, quite a formal relationship really, um, and he didn't have my personal phone number for example, but found out how to reach me and called me up and just said I really need to talk to you about Mutt and Marianne, and can I come and see you? So he just basically explained that I've been waiting for a few weeks to tell you, I've been hoping that they would tell you themselves, and they obviously haven't. And I think you need to know. And then told me. How did he know and you didn't know? What, did he catch them or something? How well, that's what I said. <laughs> I, of course, I didn't believe him, and I, I thought for sure he was mm -hmm. making it up. I was, you know, obviously just denial, you know, denial on my part. But, sure. Uh, he just said, you know, I, I have proof if you want it, and um, I've been following it now for a few weeks, and I've got hotel bills and all kinds of details and I don't go into the details in the book so if that's what you're looking for you probably don't want to read it I don't go into the details about the affair because it's just not necessary mm -hmm. I talk more about how it affected me uh, and what I've learned from it really more than anything yeah let's uh, if, if you will we can um, you can read from that section on okay. how you I'm gonna need it. my glasses all right I'll listen to my glasses <laughs> Studious. Okay, so, yes, here we go. For the first week after finding out about the affair, I was ready to die. To go to bed forever and never wake up. Or to hurt someone. I was ready to do something desperate. But in reality, there was nothing to do but to suffer through it. Fortunately, when you're a mom, the responsibility of caring for your child can keep you going. And that's what kept you going. And that's your what kept me going. And that is sort of why you wrote the book. So your son can... Right? Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you call this woman and, and say... Yes, and I did. Her? I, I called her up and I said, you know, why don't you come over? I want to talk to you about something. Um, I asked her if there was anything she needed to tell me. I wanted to give her the opportunity to tell me herself without me accusing her and because really still at this point I, I wasn't really I, I wasn't sure that Fred was maybe you know not exact you know it right. might have been exaggerating or something and she said no I really have nothing to tell you I, I don't understand why you think I would ever hide anything this from is her. after you know that it's I know I know yeah I know so she's I continuing know. to lie of course yeah and not of course but um, so you know it unraveled very slowly from there, and and it 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 just you know took a, took a long time to deal with, and it's a very slow grieving process on my end mm -hmm. and, and on Fred's end, obviously. So so we keep the, Fred, who was her husband. Uh, obviously, you both kind of leaned on we each slowly, other. Yeah, we slowly became very very good friends. We had a we had many months of just trying to make sense of everything, holding each other up. It was a very difficult time emotionally for both of us. Uh, I would say he was probably stronger through it than I was. He was a tremendous support. We were support to each other and really found something very beautiful in the end and unexpected. But uh, So now you're know, married. Now you and now Fred we're are married. married. So it's a beautiful story. So it works.
worked out. You know, it's it's love, which is the most important thing. It is, and you know, this is why it's not. It's easy for me to talk about it in the sense that I'm that I'm that I'm not angry when I talk about it anymore. I'm I'm not even really confused because it's obvious that life just has to play out the way it's meant to. And 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 how can I complain with the way it's ended up? Of course, it was painful. Um, it's more difficult, to be honest, to talk about other elements of my life with the public because, to be honest, the divorce and the betrayal was already splattered all over the tabloids without me having anything to do with it, and I've already gone through that humiliation and embarrassment. So it's almost, for me, I've already gone through that part in right. the public, right? and, and now um, it's just... You know, it's easier to talk about than, than a lot of the other things. And I also, part of writing the whole book and starting from the beginning of my life uh, was to put that that part of my life, the divorce in perspective. Mm -hmm. It doesn't define who I am and it doesn't define my whole life. My whole life is a much bigger picture mm -hmm. and writing the book from the beginning gave perspective to that one very difficult time that... Um, really is just a part of my life and mm -hmm. my whole life. Well, I would define you as a very, very strong woman. Uh, what you have lived through is, is just astonishing. And uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about your childhood, which is, that alone is impressive, that, that you are a, a kind, um, happy woman today. So I admire you for that, but, but not to mention all that other stuff. But we'll talk about your childhood after this. We'll be back.